Hi everybody, this is Auto Tapper. Today we're installing 2017 BMW F Series, okay? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the system and the feature that come with the system as well. Hi everybody! So let's start. This system come with the newest Android 11. Come with 4GB RAM and 64GB storage memory. You can also upgrade the memory to 6GB plus 128GB. Okay, so basically this newest version in the market right now. And this one also uses the Qualcomm Snapdragon Auto Core chipset. That means it also supports the 4G LTE. What that means? Okay, that means if you um you can if you have an extra SIM card, you can insert to the side of the unit and then you can access to the internet anywhere, okay, without connecting to the Wi Fi hotspot on the cell phone. And this is very convenient and user friendly, okay. Of course, if you don't have the SIM card, you can also connect to the Wi Fi hotspot on the cell phone and then you can access to the internet. But don't get me wrong, okay, the GPS is offline. You don't need to connect to any Wi Fi to use the GPS, okay. The Wi Fi hotspot will allow you to watch the YouTube, watch the uh, Netflix for the passenger, not for the driver. And then, um, okay, let's start. This is some also come with the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So it's very nice, all right. And um, this system also come the off night GPS, and uh, and this one also come with the nineteen seventy by seven twenty high definition screen. You can see that it's very very high definition compared with the uh, original one, all right. So let's start from the navigation first. It's also fully compatible with the iDrive here. You can also use the iDrive to control everything on the screen. That means you won't lose any of the original feature, okay. So this is the navigation okay this built-in navigation in how to use the navigation you basically just need to click on the bottom white corner here and then the road address and then you can enter the address right here all right and we will also preload most of the application for you for example we will preload uh the google map newest version of the google map and uh, google chrome uh, internet browser and also the prime video you know uh netflix too you know so let's go through all these kind of feature okay how to connect to the wi-fi just pull down from the top of the menu and then hold the wi-fi icon and then you can just turn on the wi-fi hotspot on the cell phone and then you will be able to connect to this uh, wi-fi hotspot and then once you connect the Wi-Fi hotspot, you can use the Google Map. This is also the newest version of the Google Map. What that means? That means you can also provide you with the off-night feature, okay? You can download the Google Map data to the unit. Once you download the map to the unit, then next time when you use the Google Map, you don't need to connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot because the map data is already saved in the system, all right? So basically, just click on the um, right here and then offline, and then you can download the, your own map based on your area all right so it's very nice all right and then google chrome is right here and then you can also use the um the iDrive to control it all right so you can you can see that all right and other than that you can uh, we also provide the Netflix. okay this is the Netflix right here it's very nice okay you can also log into your account to watch the Netflix. And we will also provide with the Prime Video. If you have the Prime Video account, you can also log into your Prime Video too, okay? So it's very, very nice here. And other than that, you can also download the movie to the USB, and then you can also watch the movie. I'm dealing with the future of the planet. All the necessary shock to the system. As you can see, the sound system is very nice. Okay, so, okay, one of one uh, one in, uh, one thing which is very important I forgot to mention is this system is fully compatible with the original NTG menu. Okay, so that means you can always switch between the original menu and the new system anytime. Okay, how to do that? If, first of all, you can use the iDrive to navigate to car. Or maybe you can also go to the main menu, car info. Or maybe you can also hold the menu button on the iDrive for two seconds. Okay, like this. Hold it for two seconds. This is the original BMW menu. All right, so you can see it's very nice. Okay, so you will also um you won't lose any of the original feature. Okay, 
for BMW stuff from 2016 EVO, okay, some of the cars they come to AUX, some of them they don't, okay. If it doesn't come to AUX, no problem, okay, because the package also come with the USB AUX adapter, okay. So you will, uh, the sound signal will go through the USB, all right. So how to do that? First of all, this car equipped with the AUX, okay, at a series. BMW they come with the shortcut here, okay. You, as you can see, it come with a couple shortcut here. You can just navigate to AUX, hold the number one button until you hear the beep sound. That means you already set to AUX, okay? And then click one more time. When you see this, this menu, that means the AUX is activated. Click on the screen. Now we can listen to the music. Okay, it's very nice, all right? This is some also support the uh, backup camera too. If your car comes with the original backup camera, then you can, uh, 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 you can, this system will also support it. Okay, how to do that? Just go to the setting right here and then go to the system and then go to camera selection. You can choose the OEM camera or aftermarket camera. Okay, depends, okay? And this system also come the equalizer, okay? You can also adjust the sound quality right here, all right? This provide you a lot of customization feature, okay? So uh, this system also support the backup camera. If your car does not come with the backup camera, you can also install the backup camera too. How, uh, it, just like this car, we just install the backup camera. It also comes with the dynamic guide night. As you can see, you can also, it's very nice, all right? You can see that the screen is very clear, all right? All right? All right, and other than that, okay, I'm gonna show you how to use the wireless Apple CarPlay, okay? Wireless Apple CarPlay, they use the wire, uh, the Bluetooth to pair at the beginning, but once it get paired, it will switch to the Wi-Fi at the background. So wireless Apple CarPlay, they actually use the Wi-Fi to transfer the data, okay? How to do that? First of all, bring out your cell phone, okay? Go to setting, go to Bluetooth, all right? And then connect to the, uh, to the system. In this situation, it's called FSC car key. You can also change the car, uh, change the name over there, all right? The password is 000, zero, zero just pair, 000, zero, 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 pair. This is also support the newest iOS 15 and newest iPhone as well, okay? And then you need to grant authorization on the cell phone, use CarPlay. Perfect, it's very nice. All right, perfect. So this is the Apple CarPlay right here. All right, you can also, uh, oh no, I just go back huh. here. When you get home, you will go back, okay? So uh, this is Apple CarPlay right here. Okay, click one more time, and then this is the split screen feature right here, all right? So it's very nice, all right? So, um, this one will also provide with the uh, other feature, okay? You can check the message right here, okay? It will also allow you to down, uh, to check the WhatsApp message, you know? And also, this, uh, you can also use the Spotify, okay? It's very nice. Okay, let's say, let's listen to, try to listen to some music. And you can also use the okay, steering wheel control to control it. You can also use the steering wheel control to control it. Well, <laughs> this wow. is, you've seen both okay. of them on the podcast before, you already know the lovely Joe. Still happen now and then. Okay. Very nice, okay, so basically, so as you can see, it's very nice, okay, you can, uh, in order to go back to the original menu, you just need to click on the home button right here, and then click on car. And then you will be able to go back to the home menu, all right? This this is the newest version of the uh, Apple CarPlay, okay? As you can see, so it's very nice, okay? It's very smooth, all right? So you can also use the um, this one. This one also support the voice control. How to do that? Just hold the bottom left corner. Bring me to the gas station. Okay, here's what I found. As you can see, it's very nice. And, or maybe... What's the temperature today? The high for today will be 14 degrees, and the low will be 2. 
Perfect. Okay, in order to go back to the home menu, just click on the car right here, and then you will be able to go back to the home menu right here, all right? You can also use the YouTube and all this kind of feature. And another thing I want to show you is the dashboard right here, all right? It will also connect to the computer. It will show the RPM and also the speed, okay? Of course, when you open the door, you will also show up on the screen as well. It's very nice, okay? You can also change the color here. Okay, put down a little bit. Perfect. This system can also be purchased from our website, www.autotapro.com. If you guys have any questions about the system, please contact us at Autotapro. We will be more than happy to assist you. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.